The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today for daily prayer on this Wednesday, February the 8th. We follow the noon order of prayer found in Lutheran Service Book on page 296. And our readings come from the daily lectionary also found in the Lutheran Service Book on page 299. One Old Testament reading and one New Testament reading every day. Let us hear God's word together and pray together on this Wednesday, February the 8th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Listen to my prayer, O God, do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. First reading for this day, we continue in Job in the Old Testament. Today we are in chapter 5, verses 1 through 27. <clears throat> Call now, is there anyone who will answer you? To which of the holy ones will you turn? Surely vexation kills the fool, and jealousy slays the simple. I have seen the fool taking root, but suddenly I cursed his dwelling. His children are far from safety, they are crushed in the gate, and there is no one to deliver them. The hungry eat his harvest, and he takes it even out of thorns, and the thirsty pant after his wealth. For affliction does not come from the dust, nor does trouble sprout from the ground. But man is born to trouble as the sparks fly upward. As for me, I would seek God, and to God would I commit my cause. Who does great things and unsearchable marvelous things without number? He gives rain on the earth and sends waters on the fields. He sets on high those who are lowly, and those who mourn are lifted to safety. He frustrates the devices of the crafty, so that their hands achieve no success. He catches the wise in their own craftiness, and the schemes of the wily are brought to a quick end. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope at noonday as in the night, but he saves the needy from the sword, their mouth, and from the, lion, and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor have hope, and injustice shuts her mouth. Behold, blessed is the one whom God reproves. Therefore despise not the discipline of the Almighty, for he wounds, but he binds up, he shatters, but he, his hands heal. He will deliver you from six troubles, and seven no evil shall touch you. In famine he will redeem you from death, and in war from the power of the sword. You shall be hidden from the lash of the tongue, and shall not fear destruction when it comes. At destruction and famine you shall laugh, and shall not fear the beasts of the earth. For you shall be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with you. You shall know that your tent is at peace. And you shall inspect your fold, and miss nothing. You shall know also that your offspring shall be many, and your descendants as the grass of the earth. You shall come to your grave in ripe old age, like a sheaf gathered up in its season. Behold, this we have searched out, it is true. Hear and know it for your good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In our New Testament reading, we continue in the Gospel of John. Today we're in the second chapter, verses 13 through 25. The Passover of the, Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found those who were selling oxen and sheep and pigeons and the money changers sitting there. And making a whip of cords, he drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and oxen. And he poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And he told those who sold the pigeons, Take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of trade. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. So the Jews said to him, What sign do you show us for doing these things? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, It has taken forty-six years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. When therefore he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover feast, many believed in his name when they saw the signs that, it, that he was doing. But Jesus on his part did not entrust himself to them because he knew all people 
and needed no one to bear witness about man, for he himself knew what was in man. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The devotional writing for this day from the Treasury of Daily Prayer comes from the Large Catechism, Martin Luther's Large Catechism, Article 3, paragraphs 80 through 84, talking about the fourth petition of the Lord's Prayer. The fourth petition of the Lord's Prayer is especially directed also against our chief enemy, the devil, for all his thought and desire is to deprive us of all that we have from God or to hinder it. He is not satisfied to obstruct and destroy spiritual government by leading souls astray with his lies and bringing them under his power. He also prevents and hinders the stability of all government and honorable, peaceable relations on earth. There he causes so much contention, murder, treason, and war. He also causes lightning and hail to destroy grain and cattle, to poison the air, and so on. In short, he is sorry if anyone has a morsel of bread from God and eats in peace. If it were in his power, and our prayer next to God did not prevent him, we would not keep a straw in the field, a farthling in the house, yes, not even our life for an hour. This is especially true of those who have God's word and would like to be Christians. God wishes to show us how he cares for us in all of our need and faithfully provides also for our earthly support. He abundantly grants and preserves these things, even for the wicked and the rogues, Matthew 5.45. Yet he wishes that we pray for these goods in order that we may recognize that we receive them from his hand and may feel his fatherly goodness towards us in them. Psalms 104.28 and 145.16 For when he withdraws his hand, nothing can prosper or be maintained in the end. Indeed, we daily see this and experience it. How much trouble there is now in the world, only on account of bad coins, daily oppression, raising of prices in common trade, and bargaining and labor by those who greedily oppress the poor and deprive them of their daily bread. This we must suffer indeed, but let such people take care so that they do not lose the benefits of common intercession. Let them beware lest this petition in the Lord's Prayer speak against them. We continue in prayer. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. We are bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We raise to God in prayer those who have requested here at Christ our Savior, Art and Rick, Melissa and Clifford, Helen, Rob, Ellie and Elva, David, Bruce, Christy, Art, Marilyn, Chris, Arlene and Colleen. O Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all of our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>